What we have done here is actually lining out a line of, of spaxels. It's just very rudimentary implemented, of course. It's just three spaxels, but the idea translates. The concept is that I'm arguing I'm not only touching one of the drones, I'm actually touching the virtual line. And the line is reacting to my input, to me touching the drones. Now, even more than that, I can reconfigure this line into any other kind of object, like for example, a triangle. And still I'm able to manipulate the triangle that only is virtually here. That's actually less a virtual object anymore, it's a real object. And I can reconfigure them totally to my will. So I can create architectures, I can create whatever objects that I'm interested in that even are dynamically creating a space, a surrounding, an environment around me. The point is that this is actually the answer to the question on how does one create a holodeck. That's the answer. What we need is a much, much higher density, of course, and it probably takes decades to go, but it will be based on a concept very, very close to the smart atoms.